This morning, we have polished the good silverware because we are welcoming a TV and movie star you might know from a little show called Downton Abbey. Ah, yes, that's right. We have the Lord, the, I should say, Grantham himself, <laughs> Hugh Bonneville here to tell us all about his new memoir. It is called Playing Under the Piano. From Downton to darkest Peru. Mm. <laughs> Hugh, it's always good to have yeah, you here. Thanks so energy. much for being here. Thank you for having me back. Uh, and the book, I mean, it's it's funny, it's charming, it's emotional, it's all these things. But why now? What 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 prompted you to write down these stories at this particular point in your life? Well, uh, partly because a, a, a publisher nagged me to. Um, <laughs> but, um, as I started writing it, uh, I, I, you know, as the subconscious takes over, I started writing about my father and his, his journey with dementia. And so I suppose as part of me thinking, let's get it all down before the fog closes in, you know, on, on life. And uh, it was a lot of fun writing it. There's lots of fun stories about the, about the work I've done over the years, the shows that you've mentioned, but also just touching on the, on the realities of of, of, a, of a father, you know, going into that mist, and uh, so many people share that story. I Not think. just fun stories, though, Hugh. Beautiful stories as well. There's one story about your father coming home at the end of the day to tell you uh, a bedtime story, and and I believe he passed away right before uh, COVID happened. Um, it, did it bring back a lot of childhood memories for you to go through this and sort of excavate that? It did, and I think, like with so many people, childhood actually is a very vivid part of our memory bank. And uh, mm -hmm. it got to the point when I handed in the first draft to the publisher, he said, I'm loving it, I'm on page 100, but you're still only eight. Can we maybe trim that back a bit? <laughs> but uh, but I, had a very, I was very fortunate. I had a very happy childhood. And, yeah, my dad, who was a surgeon, he took a, always took time to tell me a bedtime story, so I'm very grateful to him for that. Just real quick, there's also a not-so-nice story about... Actually, this is sounds kind of weird. Great. Digging a grave for your sister mm. who's still with us. Well, she is. Yeah, she's still So what, what, what um, is that about? Well, it was what? really... When, you, when you're about six or seven, you know, elder siblings can be really annoying. It's true. And uh, <laughs> there was one time when she stuck her tongue out at me and it was just too much. That was, so, that was a lie. Yeah, yeah, it was just awful. So, so you went out back and... and I said to Mum, I said, that's it, I am going to kill my sister and, I, in fact, I'm going to dig a grave. And Mum said, fine, you know, dinner's at six, you know. And uh, <laughs> so I went out. We had rather tough soil in my part of South London and so I got about sort of five or six <laughs> inches, maybe, and... Uh, shallow grave. It was a shallow grave. <laughs> oh, my uh, yeah, and uh, luckily she's still with us. I love it. I love it. So, wait, let's talk about the Paddington series for a minute. Um, I was just reading at one point Paddington 2 had beat Citizen Kane for the number one movie on Rotten Tomatoes. Why do you think it had such a big impact? Well, I think because, well, the bear universal, has a universal appeal. I mean, yeah. he, he sets out in the world to be inquiring. Look he never him. sets out to do anything unkind. Uh, he gets into scrapes, but things always resolve. And, uh, yeah, I think in those two films that we've made so far, uh, you know, that spirit comes across, the spirit of inquiry and the spirit of acceptance. And, yeah. uh, and of course, he became a, uh, an acquaintance of Her Late Majesty. That's the right. Sure. Yeah. to the Jubilee. Yeah, so yeah. Our kids so, well, love Paddington Bear, those movies. Since we're talking about Hugh Bonneville classics, let's bring up another one here. This is, of course, with your old pal, Hugh Grant. We're talking about uh, Notting <laughs> one Hill. One of my favorites of all time. This is, uh, yeah. this is oh one of your gosh. favorite rom-coms, right? <laughs> yeah. There's this scene uh, where you basically have this this high-speed chase through the through the streets of London. Oh, yeah. And the, the, what do you remember about about shooting that? There's the oh, yeah, well, yes, it, the high speed chase in an old an old banger of a car. Um, it was, <laughs> I remember because London isn't that filming friendly. I remember we had to shoot on a number of Sunday mornings at like six a.m. in the in the early summer, and uh, you've got Reese Vans leaping out and running underneath Admiralty Arch, uh, which is you know, the, uh, the opposite end of uh, Buckingham Palace, and having to stop the traffic. And uh, you know the tourists gradually piling up and wondering what the heck was going on yeah. with this old you know, old car just going round and round and round Trafalgar Square. But you know it was a lot of fun and um, uh, a lot of fun memories from that movie. Notting Hill, of course, also starring Julia Roberts, who we just saw there. And actually, Hoda just sat down with Julia and, like I know her, with Julia Roberts and George Clooney. And it seemed like they had the best time. How? What was it like working with her? Oh, she was an absolute joy to work with. You know, it was one of my first sort of appearances on, on, on film and doing that, that scene I remember so vividly with Julia. And she was very generous. I have to say, when we came to the, uh, the premiere in London, this mm -hmm. was, and uh, she came over to us gang, the gang of friends from the movie, and she said, oh, you guys coming to the New York premiere next week? And we said, oh, well, no, no, we haven't been invited. And she went, uh-uh. And she went and got the, one of the execs and brought him over. And he was very chuffed to be on her arm, you know. Yeah. And uh, it was smiling away, and she said, if these guys don't go to New York, I don't go to New York. Oh, wow. So it was very generous Classic. of her. Thank you, Julia. That's yeah. amazing. Before we let you go, can't help but notice the lapel pin there mm. uh, for folks yeah, who yeah. are watching it. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Ukraine has been invaded by a, a nation that shouldn't be invading it. As simple as that. Mm. Hugh Bonneville. Thank Always you. Always good to have you. Thank you. Classy act. Uh, by the way, playing under the piano from Downton to darkest Peru, the book is out right now. Good to see you here. Yeah, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you so much.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.